Hi guys, today I'm in Cape Town, South Africa. Did you know that it's the oldest urban area in South Africa and also happens to be the capital? English is the main spoken language here and they also have a nickname for the city, the mother city. The weather here is so gorgeous and I can't wait to discover this place. Let's go do that. This is the EF school and I'm going to meet South African photographer and vlogger Nicole Eddy who will show me some spectacular views. Hi! Hey! How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you! Oh, it's good to see you! It's so good to see you as well. Yes, it's so beautiful here. Yeah, thankfully we have some good weather. Summer has arrived. Okay, tell me, what are we going to do today? I'm so intrigued. We are going to hike up Table Mountain, which is one of the seven natural wonders of the world. If we stand outside, we should be able to get a view of what we're about okay. to climb today. So that is Table Mountain. That's what we're going to be climbing up today. That looks pretty high up. It is pretty high up, but the views from the top are so worth it. Great, and why do they call it Table Mountain? Simply because of the shape of it. Uh -huh. At the top, it is so incredibly flat, like a table. <laughs> Makes sense. Yes. Let's do this, guys. Let's do it. So it's super windy. <laughs> it is. Um, unfortunately, we might have to not do Table Mountain hike anymore. As you can see, the cable car is even closed. So on very windy days, they shut the cable car down. If we hike to the top, I think we'll be in a massive cloud. We won't see any views of the city. We have a name for the cloud that is called the tablecloth. Oh, makes yep. sense. Exactly. So whenever this wind blows, which is called the Southeaster, this cloud kind of forms and billows over. My suggestion is doing Lion's Head, which is behind us. And that's actually Cape Town's most popular hike. It's a little bit shorter. There's no cloud. Sounds like a great alternative. Do you think it will be less windy? I hope it's going to be less windy, but okay. let's go find out. <laughs> I swear I can like lay on the wind. I don't think I've ever been in such windy conditions in my life before. Okay, welcome to Lion's Head. I have to say this feels more doable. Like there's some wind, but I'm not flying over the other side. Exactly, there's a lot less wind here and it's quite a lot warmer actually. Yes, true, but I'm keeping my jacket on just in case. You never know. Exactly, in Cape Town, you always have to be prepared. Yes, we do this. Yes, let's go. Oh, <laughs> how long is this hike? 45 minutes to an hour, depending on fitness and whether the trail is busy. On weekends, it gets very busy. Uh huh. What would you always bring if you go up? Cape Town's weather changes all the time. Some people say we have four seasons in one day, as oh. we have experienced already. So when you're hiking, always bring a jacket, a warm jacket or a windbreaker, and then sun cream, water and snacks. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's a lot of cloud, right? I know. It's it looks like a mountain doesn't even exist under there. Uh, yeah. So that beach is Camps Bay Beach. Mm -hmm. And this whole area that you can see behind us is Camps Bay. On a beautiful hot day with no wind in Cape Town, it's full of umbrellas and people and it's a beautiful atmosphere. The trees are beautiful. It is such a diverse floral habitat. In fact, Table Mountain National Park, it's part of one of six floral kingdoms in the world. That one is called the Cape Floristic Kingdom, and it's the smallest of all of them, but it's the most biodiverse. I think there's something crazy, like between 8,000 to 9,000 oh species, God. of which 69 or 70% only occur in that region. Only here? Only here. That's really cool. Yeah. That's like a dream for an explorer. Exactly. So this is where we're heading. That's where we're heading. That's the top. We've got a little way to go still. Once a month during the full moon, there's something called the Moonlight Mass, which takes place on Lion's Head. Everyone hikes up just before sunset and everyone has a head torch and on the way down, everyone has their head torches on. If you are looking at Lion's Head from afar, you can just see all of these torches coming down. It's really, really cool. Well, that sounds like an amazing experience. You must definitely come back and try it. Yes, I will. <laughs> Can you hear that? Yeah. What is that? Crickets. Little insects. Yeah, it's like a little symphony. Yeah. For me, this is so synonymous with the sound of summer in Cape Town. You oh, that's nice. You always hear them. That's a lovely association. Yeah. So now we can see a whole another side of Cape Town. 
as we weave around the mountain, there's new views to be seen on every side, which is amazing. It's like the mountain divides the city into two parts. Exactly. So this stretch of mountain, this is called Signal Hill. So this is Seapoint side. This is an old area of Cape Town. That is Cape Town CBD, the central business district. Yeah, that's a big business hub in Cape Town where lots of big companies are based. A more busy area. So this is where the fun begins. There's a ladder. Why is there a ladder? <laughs> And that seems like this is the only option up. Yeah, this is our only way up. Here it goes. Yeah, good job. Yay. <laughs> Nailed it. Made it. it. <laughs> I'm very happy that there's a chain here. They've just renovated the path as well, end of last year. So I think these chains are new. Some of the ladders. Newly installed, good. Yeah. But this is fun. Just for you. Now it's windy. Woo! <laughs> it's like freedom! Wind everywhere! And in my oh, Sand in my eyes! I feel like a pirate. I see the chains! It looks worse than what they are. Really? I feel like I've said that about everything so far in this yes. hike. But I promise you. It's like proper climbing. Do you see this? Let's rumble. You make it look so easy. Oh my god, the bar has finished! I was looking to <laughs> hold on to something! Yes, like a natural. Woohoo! Okay, one section done. Oh, that's a one section? There's more, this is the last section. You promise? I promise. I'm scared. I'm okay, genuinely... Right? Yeah, I'm a little bit... I don't know if I can do this. I'm not kidding. Okie dokie. I can do this, I can do this. And You're doing a great win. job. Thank you. Now I'm going to be very proud of myself. No, you did a great job. Yay! Nice. So we came up this way with staples and chains, but I see it's an alternative footpath as well. Yeah, so if you don't feel like braving the staples and chains, this is where the other route joins up with the main path. So you Good. can avoid that whole section. So there is a way for everybody. <laughs> there is. That's what's great about Lion's Head. Hey. The wind is back. This is quite an adventure. Are we there yet? <laughs> we are almost there. We can pretty much see the summit. Yes, that gives me hope. <laughs> if I ever move to South Africa, the yep. first thing I'm going to do is buy <laughs> hiking shoes. Proper hiking boots. Yep. This is spectacular. The view from up here is Ah, oh, the view is incredible, amazing. right? Oh. And there's another ladder. There's another ladder, I'm sorry. It's okay. Maria, I'm happy to say we have officially reached the summit. Yay! Yeah! Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Good job! It's the first time I ever went up the mountain from bottom to the top. Really? Yeah. That's incredible. And it's a great mountain for your first one. Yes, definitely. This is wow. We did it. I think we're also at the highest height that we could possibly be on Lion's Head right now. Yes! Good job! That was such a fun day. It Thank was you. amazing. Thank you. I would never be able to do it without you. No, you did incredibly well. Talking of fun activities, I think that this is an awesome activity to do with a partner or a loved one. Yes, and speaking of love, tomorrow is St. Valentine's. What is your idea of a great date? Comment below and the winner is going to get this handcrafted keyring made in KwaZulu-Natal, another province of South Africa. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to come back and watch the next episode. I'm going to camps, babe. Bye! Bye.